Does it come with the, do you have any games and stuff yep, for it? No, I just. Oh, man, poor boy. Any idea really how old that is? Ah, early bird gets the worm. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing great. How are you? Perfect, perfect weather. Put my truck on. Oh, there's someone else's truck. So this is the entire set of the Wii Fit. Okay. The whole thing. Does it come with it? Do you have any games and stuff yep, for it? Got, it's got whatever it has in there. So gotcha. um, it has the, uh, in fact, I haven't even opened it. The wheel and then the whole setup is there. Oh, I gotcha. Check, uh, do you have any other video game stuff or is this it? Uh, no. Okay. No. You're asking 100 for it all? Yes, because they okay. were running at like 700 online. I'm going, yay. So, yes. Yeah, it's all come up as a whole set. Gotcha. Oh, this has been open, right? Uh, yes, it has been open. Okay. I just put it nicely gotcha. in the box. Yes. How much you ask for your uh, VHS player? A hundred dollars. hundred dollars? Yes. Oh my god, look at that antenna. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I never seen anything like that before. Yeah, it worked real well, well, I guess. <laughs> Professional salad shooter. Interesting. Thing. Yeah, this, this is pretty neat. The yeah, the Buccaneers, they give this away. But. Yeah. All right, good luck on your sale. All right. Yeah, thank you. The needle one like that would be neat. Morning. 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 What were you looking at? Your point? The gun. That's cool. We're looking at oh. your gun sign on the wall. Oh! Yeah! Looks like I'm sometimes. Yeah. Good. Does stereo stuff work? Yeah, absolutely. It's surround sound. You just, you know, the old style with the receiver, you yeah. know? Yeah, works great. We have on the on the speakers. Um, all three, fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. That's a Mophie. That was yeah. brand new. And she, my girlfriend had that. And the other one, there's another one down here. It's a used one. And she went and bought, bought this. Yeah. We got it for her Christmas, so she ended up getting a new phone. So. <laughs> I know, it's, it normally happens. Yeah, but not many people have the iPhone 7. Anymore. Yeah, that's the... Uh... <laughs> 75 cents can't go wrong. <laughs> Which is it? I've never seen one like that. Camaro. I always kept my eyes. I, like, oh. I love '69 Camaro. I, I, I had two, myself in the two Corvettes. I got, I got married. I had a '69 Z28. Oh my God! 302. Oh, four that thing speed. would be worth like 60, 70 million now. What's that? Make me an offer. A buck? Sure. Sounds Sold. Good. Sold. <laughs> you need to get something else for a quarter. Oh, how much were the glasses? No, I don't care. I'll give you a dollar for it. Make it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, at this point, it doesn't really matter. I actually got to see him up at Gainesville a couple years ago. Oh, yeah. well, a couple years ago. Well, I don't know why. He hadn't raced for Larry, or uh, Larry Dixon hadn't raced for Don Perdome for some time. Oh, sure. 
Oh, here we go. 69. I know, I just was going to. There's another 69. How much are the Camaros? Um, I don't know. Do you want all three? Uh, there's three, a... four. <laughs> five of them. Take, take away Evan and then maybe I'll just. Five. You don't need uh... How about all five for 10 bucks? $2 a piece. Sure. I'm going to do that. I'll get you a box for all this stuff. So you want 12 bucks? Yep. 12 bucks. All right. Morning. Good. How are you guys? King Kong. What's up? I said I knew you were going for that right away. <laughs> How much are your toys? Um, one from our dollar piece. Okay. Only. <laughs> Some Toy Story. We have to remember one. Yeah. And these ones are a dollar piece? Yes. Okay, cool. Your laptop's getting wet. I know. It's it is what it is at this yeah. point. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, I got four. Toys. There you go, four bucks. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning. So, yeah, that's all he needs. Bama. Alabama. <laughs> That's cool. Pumpkin space room. You guys been busy so far today? No. No. Not really. How much is the hat? A dollar. A dollar. Alright, you got me at a dollar. <laughs> Missing pieces. Yeah. No. Oh, really? Ha, ha, ha. 
How much are the toys? They're all different prices. And that one I can do two dollars. So these are a dollar each? Um the other ones? Gotcha. <laughs> what is this from? I think that actually had a little thing that went with it. This is Minecraft. Oh, oh yeah. Um, how much are the, the baby clothes? A dollar for this. Dollars. Okay. Oh, let's walk over here. Oh, more toys, hats. I will buy that. No, it's okay. I, yeah, that broke. I will pay for that. I apologize. Don't worry about it. Just bill me. <laughs> Sesame Street. Sesame Street. I break it, I buy it. You're okay. Yeah, I can't take him nowhere without him destroying something. Oh. <laughs> keeps it fun, I guess. How much are the hats? They're a dollar each. Dollar each. Like the, the number tell you dollar for everything. Which of the stuffed animals? I think that's where the $2, the Disney ones, we're probably going to do $2 okay. on. Thank you. Alright, so, how much is this? Uh, $2. How much two? Okay. Uh, I'm pass it here. Oh, Pluto. That's I buy like the Funko Pops, so when I find yeah, Funko, no, Funko Jurassic Park, I, I love, <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys saw, they're actually, they're, they overproduce them so much right now, they had, a, um, they had a, a big thing on the news where they have 30 million dollars of inventory, mm -hmm. it's cheaper for them to take it to the dump, to dump it, what? than to sell it, oh, yeah, it was, it, look, if you Google it, it was, it was in the news last week, yeah, just put them in the dump, yep, alright, so, just crazy. let me know what I owe you here, alright, so two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, do you have a bag by any chance? Yeah. Thank you. For this nah, I don't need a bag for that one. I just put it up there. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Appreciate it. What is this?
Do you know what these are from? I don't. You don't? Okay. Right, so you want 10 bucks a lot? Yeah. Give me 10 bucks on them. Oh. I don't know what they are, but they look interesting. Well, I know, <laughs> just the little horses along go for three to five bucks. Yeah. Should we 10? Always keep an eye out for Stephen King books. They always sell great on eBay. They can sell individually or in big lots. What you want to look for is the hardcover books that are first edition. They can bring a premium on eBay. If you see me opening them up the covers, I'm looking inside for indications of first edition. Do you like this? Oh, with yeah. a white toss? Yeah. Oh, no. 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 No picture frame. Yeah, we're woman at the bottom. Okay. We got here beer stone. Where do you see it? Who's the um the Stevie King fan? My son. Your son. Oh, he's looking for all kinds. He has I got a stack of books well, I see. Well, he bought a bunch of them and uh -huh. then he had doubles, uh -huh. so he brought them to gotcha. me. I'm going to get these so far. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, that's okay. I can see them from here. Oh, uh, I was going to look at it. He has a whole collection. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You do too? He's looking for five more, but they're the newer ones. Yeah. And he said they're so expensive. They're hard to find sometimes. Yeah. Uh, prices are negotiable on these pictures. Okay. I'm not going to get rid of them, No? Well, he had doubles. Yeah. That's why he's I don't have doubles. I collected them when I was in New York. Oh. oh, you're a Stephen King fan too? Yeah. Yeah. The dolls? They're 10 for $5. All of any of them? Any of them. Okay. You guys from Pittsburgh? Pardon? New York. New York, okay. I just New saw the, all the Pittsburgh stuff on here. That's why I was. I'm from Pennsylvania, that's why I was at. I found the same painting online listed for $900. I don't think it's worth $900, but I have to do more research to find out the actual value of this. Any idea how old that is? That's right next to um, the I have no idea. I had it forever. I don't. Really? It's okay. old. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's funny. Especially when you come Take five for it? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Well, what are we at? Angela. I know. He got married. And my son got married. My wife got married. Savannah, Georgia. Well, yeah, these, I don't know if I can make you a bargain on them. They're my sons. Okay. So, five, nine, four, fifteen, and five for that. So happy. Wow. Thank you. Very Thank you. <clears throat> All right, so it's the next day. We are back from the garage sale. and Let's show you everything we picked up. It was an awesome pickup. Uh, my dad was in town to go out with me. Let's show you guys. What Walked up to the sale. They had this giant bag of little family figures. Uh, these are from the early 2000s, 2001, 2002, 2003. But they have all the horses. They have all like the action figures in there. I got this giant bag for 10 bucks. I'm assuming we'll get anywhere from 50 to 75 five bucks for, for all the figures. I'll probably just put a big lot together and set piece it out just to move it real fast. All right, so one of the yard sales we walked up to, I love buying toys. Toys can bring really good money. Um, these are only a dollar a piece. So we have the dinosaur from Toy Story. We have this dragon, which I'm not familiar where it's from. But there is some markings on here. But for a dollar, yeah. It is 2018. I've seen this before. But for a dollar, why not? I think this is Power Rangers, if I'm not mistaken, for 2000, 2002. I would have to do a little bit more research on it, but for a buck, 
I would take that all day long. And this is probably my favorite piece in the entire lot is an actual King Kong figure with the mark on his chest from Godzilla. So, 2020. So that's actually from the new movie that was released. All right, so we picked all this stuff up, another sale. Um, I nor normally buy baby clothes, but these are High Rocks, brand new from San Diego, and they're new with tags on, and they're only 50 cents, so why not? Um, these are the Fingerling Dinosaurs. I'm not sure if you're familiar with those, but if you put your finger up, it actually holds onto your finger, and these can actually sell for about anywhere from like, I don't know, five to 10 bucks a piece. So I picked these up for a dollar each. I always pick up any type of Disney plush I can find out and about, especially bigger ones with the Disney tags on. Here's a Pokemon stuff animal with the Pokemon tag. Uh, this is Minecraft, got that for a buck. Just a Disney hat, and then picked up this Funko set. Jurassic Park stuff does really well. Probably get about 15 bucks or so for that. So one of the most overlooked things at yard sales is books. And you guys need to start looking for books because it, no matter what time you go to a yard sale, you will always find books. It could be eight o'clock in the morning or 12 o'clock in the afternoon. At this yard sale, I walked up and they had a big thing of Stephen King. If you guys ever see Stephen King books, pick them up. They could bring really good money. Um, these are the hardback books. I always pick up hardback books when I see them. The Dark Half, Skeleton Crew. And you always tell about how old they are. They don't have a UPC code on them. They're definitely older from the 80s. Uh, this is actually his earlier novels, but does have this on. This one goes for about 20 something bucks and four past midnight another thing when you do look at these when you are looking up comps online make sure you guys are opening them up and looking at the years in him because if you do have a first print or an earlier print they could bring really good money so like this one right here is actually i think from 80 so this may be an earlier print i would have to do some research on it though but i'm assuming these books here alone are going to get me closer to 40 to 75 bucks depending on them and also too she had this picture here this thing is super cool i cannot leave it behind it is definitely old and vintage mm -hmm. one thing i always look for when i go to retirement communities is actually older antique photos and you can just tell by the paper on this and by the frame that this is definitely older she says she had it forever and i think she even said it might have been her her mom's originally so i'm assuming this is early 1900s i'm thinking based off this but i would have to do some more research on it but i'm i'm thinking we should get anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks for it so pay five bucks for this and we paid 15 bucks for these books cannot beat that and please make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel it really helps us out if you guys did enjoy this yard sale video check out this next yard sale video here we picked up a lot of good items until next time 